The mission of my work is to support soulpreneurs, people who want to create their self-employment in a way that's deeply fulfilling and financially stable. Soulpreneur, soulful entrepreneurship. I've been doing this since 2009. So in all that time, I've served over a thousand clients and I've taught dozens of courses. Right now, there are more than 20 courses available on my website for immediate enrollment and study. And because I have so many courses on all kinds of marketing issues and productivity things, my clients often ask me, well, where do I start? So I decided to make this video as a way to guide whoever's interested in working with me into step-by-step -step creating your soulful entrepreneurship, your fulfilling self-employment, something that you can support uh, yourself and your family financially, and yet be doing work that's deeply fulfilling. So without further ado, let's get going. All right. The first course that I recommend to all of my clients is what I call Authentic Biz Plan. It's a business planning strategy course. And whether you are a beginner or you're more advanced, I myself revisit that course on a regular basis to up-level my way of planning my business. I mean, literally, what do I spend my time on every year, every month, every week, every day? How do you prioritize all the possible things you could possibly do in business? Well, taking the authentic biz plan is a great first step. And for some people, that might be the only course they need to take from me because it gives them a holistic strategy to then move forward. If they need to get support on specific things, they could. But um, it's, a, it's a good way, I think, to spend your time is to spend your time by optimizing how you spend the rest of your time. So that's the first one that I recommend. The second one, oh, actually, before I go there, I want to show you on the screen what it looks like, what to look for. Uh, on my site. And below this video, there should be a link that takes you to uh, the guide that gives you the links to these various courses. But this is this is what it looks like the authentic uh, business planning or biz plan for short. Uh, that's the that's the first one to start with, in, in my opinion. The second one, um, it depends on whether you are in a big rush to get clients or not. If you have the privilege of having spaciousness in your um, way of developing your business. Like you don't have to like make money, you know, in the next month from your business, but you can take it in a more gradual pace to really build excellent foundations. Then I recommend authentic content flow. Okay. This is the course that gets you clarity about what kind of uh, topics you really want to work on in your business. Um, and usually my website loads a lot faster. I have no idea what's going on right now. All right, there it is. So why do I say that this is the course that gets you clarity about your topics? Because one of the most common misconceptions from uh, beginner solopreneurs is, oh, I've got to get all my ducks in a row. I've got to figure out my core message, my brand, my website. Uh, my sales funnel, maybe, which I don't like, but that's a, that's, a, you'll learn in the authentic biz plan what I do instead. Um, I got to get all these ducks in a row before I can launch, before I can, you know, uh, you know, reveal to the world my polished services and brand. Well, I think that's a big mistake because I've seen, again, I've worked with over a thousand clients and I've seen so many people having invested so much of their resources and time into creating this polished brand and, and then launch and then find out, guess what? Nobody, not enough people want what they've created. So instead, I take an approach I call the three stages of content creation, which is stage one, you experiment with different topics that you talk about publicly to, to find out two things, find out which topics you really thrive and enjoy talking about that you feel really uh, like you want to dedicate your time to developing excellence in, in particular topics. And then the second thing you're discovering is what do your audience, that's starting with your network, starting with your friends in the beginning, starting with anybody who's willing to read uh, what you've got or watch what you, what you make. What does the world um, resonate with what you're saying? And you have to experiment with a lot of different topics in the beginning. 
without niching yourself yet. Authentic content flow is that course that allows you, I mentioned three stages. First stage one is experimental, a lot of topics. Stage two is to notice, observe which of your stage one things resonate with people and then do more of that. And then stage three is to productize, monetize, to take the best of your topics and then now you can turn it into a service, a, ser a coaching package, a product or whatever it might be. Okay, so authentic content flow is that course that gets you into the flow the consistent creation uh, of experimentation, of noticing, and then, and then be able to take it into the next level. So this is a, a more gradual path. If you have, like, you know what, George, I don't, have to, I don't have to squeeze money out of my business in the next few months. I can, I can take a more gradual and foundational path. Then this is the one I would recommend next. If, however, you are in a hurry to, uh, you know, make money from your business, then I would recommend the combination of authentic market discovery and create aligned offers. So this is the one, this is the first one you would take. This one helps you get in touch with your audience right away, starting again with friends or, or acquaintances who are willing to talk with you to have conversations of curiosity and caring. This is, these are not sales conversations. These are conversations where you're genuinely interested to know of the things that they're interested in, the, the problems they're trying to solve, the goals they have in their life. Which of those things resonate with you in terms of the skills you would love to provide, the skills that you'd love to use to provide support to other people? Okay, What problems you'd love to solve? What goals you'd love to help people achieve? This course gives you the protocol, the step-by-step -step, uh, framework to help you to, to reach out for those kinds of caring, compassionate, non-salesy conversations and to have those conversations and to analyze what happened in those conversations so that you can then be clear about what offers you want to create, which is why the next course after Authentic Market Discovery is Create Aligned Offers. This is where you put together your whatever it may be, coaching package, healing service, mentoring um, you know, service or Whatever service, typically, uh, this is this course is really meant to help someone create a one-to-one -one service for their network, for their audience. That their their audience and network have already said, please create this thing. We would love to. We would love to engage with you. So one-on-one -on -one service is really where you begin before you create a group program or online courses or write a book or whatever. Da, da, da. Start with a one-on-one -on -one service, particularly if you want to make money sooner rather than later. So after you have done that, well, first of all, if you've already uh, seen one of these, uh, if, you've, if already at this point in the video, one of these courses really resonate with you, go ahead and just, you know, go to that link, sign up, you can start studying right away. You also get access to two Q&A calls with me, um, you know, to brainstorm or well, in, in a group setting, but they're, they're usually small enough where I will be able to get to your questions. I've never in the last two years, not being able to get to the questions that were sent to me in advance of my group Q and a call. So I look forward to, to meeting you there. Now, if you've already taken these courses or you feel really, um, well, you know, well, well, uh, well grounded, I guess I should say, with your content rhythm and with your um, understanding of your market, what they want you to provide. And if you're doing doing well with your um, offer creation, you're creating something that people want, which makes it really easy to sell. You don't have to sell hard. Then we can move on to the next courses. Okay. Um, now, this one I'm going to share with you called the Joyful Productivity Course is one that actually I, I recommend to a lot of my clients near the beginning, maybe even before. If they are willing to take a more gradual path, then I recommend this one in the beginning after biz plan. This one comes next. Uh, I'm, I'm only talking to you about this now because most of the people I talk to want to make money sooner. So that's why I mentioned the other courses first. But this one is... Uh, most of my clients who have taken this say that this was the most foundational and significant course for them that, that, that they've taken from me. 
And it's not a surprise because once you learn the skills of joyful productivity, it's a suite of 26 skills. Once you learn these skills, it becomes something you use every day to really up level how you manage your time, your energy, how you approach your work with more, shall I say, loving energy and authentic fulfillment. And so I really love this course. Um, it's, it's, it's honestly my, my, my favorite one. And this is why I created a whole um, ongoing club for people who want to keep revisiting the joyful productivity skills. So if you're, if you're passionate about um, productivity, uh, joyful productivity like I am, then I think you would really enjoy being part of this club and continuing to revisit week by week the um, one bit of more of the productivity skills to kind of reintegrate and become more effective at everything you do in your work. Okay, so that's a that's a great foundation. Uh, the next one, which a lot of my clients love, is authentic client outreach. And this is a great follow on to create aligned offers, because once you've created an aligned offer, and maybe you've gotten some initial signups, you're, you're pretty excited that to actually fill your client roster. And this is the course that gives you step-by-step -step method to launch your service more widely so you can fill your client roster and to keep in touch with your network on a consistent basis in an authentic, non-salesy way about your services. So this is a, a foundational course as well. Um, okay, so let's say that you have now uh, got into a, a consistent rhythm of creating content. Remember, I showed you this one earlier. This gets you into a consistent rhythm of creating authentic content in a thoughtful way that helps to grow your audience. You've been creating content, creating content, and now there's a lot that you've created. And it is the right time now to bring your all of your ideas into what I call a framework. So I've created a course called the Framework Course, which is exactly meant to gather all of your content ideas into um, what you can now create as a step-by-step, -step, well, kind of like what I'm making right here for you, but a step-by-step -step, um, modality or methodology to say, to be very clear where clients come to you, you can be very clear to say, hey, you are here right now and you want to transform here and I have the exact steps and um, context to guide you from where you are to where you want to go. Uh, here are the three steps, the 12 steps, the, um, here is the, the diagram of how the transformation with me happens, you know, things like that. So a lot of my clients love this because it helped them to, to shape their, their ideas into this uh, body of work that they're really proud to share and develop more services around that body of work. So it's pretty cool. Uh, next, you might be interested in further diving into your, what I call your energy signature. All right, this one is where you look at your background, your lineage, shall I say, of how you developed into the human being you are today, both in terms of your family background, but also your training background and, and your life experiences. You may have had certain peak experiences, maybe some trauma, uh, but all of that contributes to um, what your true fans most resonate about you. This thing I call energy signature, which if you can map out your background and your life context and be clear about how that contributes to your soulful expression, then you can really shine and be powerfully um, resonant with your most ideal viewers, ideal readers, ideal clients. And that's what, that's what this course is about, the sort of step-by-step -step, uh, um, un unpacking of all that's, all that made you who you are so you can then communicate um, in the most profound style uh, that your that your clients say is really you, really powerfully you. Okay, what's next after that? After energy signature, it makes a lot of sense to take the what do you do course because with all this understanding of the context that makes your business and your personal brand powerful and unique, well, now it's time to communicate that in words. So this What Do You Do course uh, is a step-by-step -step guide for how to write your uh, about page. 
the about page on your website and also your bio. Whenever you are interviewed on a podcast or uh, on your social media you know, profile, uh, how do you concisely express you know, basically your energy signature and your work, your work, the, the fullness of your work? How do you express that in a concise, um, beautiful, resonant way to put all these into words long as well as short so this is this course gives gives you by the end of the course you'll have long descriptions as well as short descriptions of your work and sort of what makes you unique okay so after this you may be interested in scaling your impact because at this point of the authentic business journey you have consistent content going you have a clear framework you have at least a core service a one-to-one -one service that you're really enjoying delivering and you know how to fill that one-to-one -one service. At this point, you may, you may wish to be serving even more people instead of just one-to-one. -one. A lot of solopreneurs get to this point where like, you know, I want to do group programs. I want to teach online courses. Okay, so I've got support for you there as well. So I've got one called Launch Your 20-Person Group Program. Now, why 20 people? Because, well, 20 people is a really uh, a balanced number for, to start with a group program. Why? Well, okay. Let's think just in terms of business model here. If you had a group program where your each member was paying you, let's say $200 a month, okay, that's two, $200 a month times 20 people, that's $4,000 a month from your group program, okay? Really, uh, you know, solid, basic a business livelihood. You probably also have one-to-one -one clients that you know brings in brings in additional income. But twenty people, just based on my experience of running group programs between, well, to be honest with you, my my very first group program that I ran was no, actually I think I think it was twelve people. My very first program was twelve people. But then I ran another group program that was twenty-two people, and I felt that was a really good size because there's enough. With about twenty people, there's it's small enough for you to still take care of each person in a more personal way, but it's also just big enough for the group to have enough diversity of like experiences and resources that makes the conversations rich, okay? And plus, not all 20 people are gonna come to every call, trust me. You'll probably, if you had the 20 person group, you might have, if you're lucky, 10 people per call or maybe even five people per call. And so it's good to, to start with a 20 person group or aim for that. You might not get to 20 people in your first launch. You might only have 10, but you're aiming for a 20 person group as a solid sustainable model. You can also use what you learn in this program to expand beyond that, to have a 40 person group, a 60 person group. These days, or this year, um, I, as I'm recording this, I've had an 85, I've had two groups, an 85 person group and a 100 person group. Next year, I'm going to keep the larger group as a more light group, and then I'm going to have a 42-person group. Uh, anyway, so I'm always playing with different sizes to see what's optimal for me as well. Anyway, 20-person group, great start. This program helps you to clarify that structure for yourself and, and how to launch it. Okay, so uh, I'm excited for you to experience that. Next one. Uh, you have all these ideas. You've, you've written so much content by this point, right? You, you know, you've... you've, you've I'm assuming up to this point, you have a consistent flow of content. If not, take my content flow course. Anyway, now it's time to put all of your blog posts or at least to categorize your blog posts and to create a book from it. I have done this now with five, I've self-published five books that are essentially from my blog posts categorized into a thoughtful theme and then launched it. And actually four of my books already have second editions. So I know this process super well, and this is the this is one of my most popular courses, and it walks you step by step with templates uh, through how to do that for yourself. And you'll literally see me in this course pu publish a book from beginning to end. I literally, when the 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 recent version that I taught, I'm like, okay, I've got all these blog posts for this particular theme. You're gonna see me do this, you know, from beginning to end. I'm gonna give you the templates for for doing it yourself as well. And you can ask me questions inside the course as you as you go through the process. Okay, next up, uh, after you, well, you, you don't have to publish a book first, but at some point you're gonna to want to create 
uh, courses like I do. I now have more than 20 courses, so I've done it so many times. And I give you the templates, the structure, the um, step-by-step guide, and, and a, a bit of a course community inside so you can, you can learn from each other to, to launch courses, to create courses, how to structure them, how to market them. So this is a kind of all-in-one uh, course for that process. All right. By this point, you are making so much money <laughs> that you need to revisit your relationship to money. And this is my Conscious Money Flow or Healthy Money Mindset course. And I basically talk in this course about my perspective on money mindset, on making money, on uh, saving money, on investing money. That's this course if you're, if you're interested. Okay. All right, so at this point, you have a, a, a consistent flow of content. You've got one-to-one -one services and you know how to fill them. You are starting to scale your impact by having group programs, maybe online courses. And now you wanna grow your reach a lot more. Yeah, you may have a nice small-ish audience. Um, some of them are, are joining your group program. Some of them are buying your courses, but you like to have you know, dozens or hundreds of people buy your courses, right? So growing your reach, um, is, is let's, let's talk about those courses next. All right. I've got one for you called net caring, which is my, uh, perspective on networking. I, I never really loved the term networking because it sounds like I'm working the room and being very agenda driven as I'm talking to people. This, this course turns that <laughs> makes it completely, uh, I try to bring as much authenticity into connecting with other people as possible. So whether you are in person or whether you are doing online networking, the net caring course helps you to understand how to reach people, how to, how to organize your contacts, how to reach out to them in a caring and compassionate way, in a way that's not agenda driven and yet is still useful for your business. And also how to collaborate with other uh, with other colleagues so that you can scale your reach. Okay. So anyway, this course uh, is um, it's one of my favorites because I do this net caring stuff a lot, and uh, it's really helpful for growing our audience. It's one of the key ways to grow an audience is is through net caring and collaborations. Now, as you start net caring and connecting with more colleagues, uh, you might want to uh, invite them uh, to interview them for your video channel, for your podcast, for your blog, okay? And people might be inviting you to be interviewed for their podcast, for their video channel, for their Instagram account, for their blog, et cetera. And because I've done hundreds of, probably over a thousand interviews actually since 2009, um, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say at least hundreds of, of, of interviews since 2009, I have, I have been interviewed. Um, I've done hundreds, of, I've, I've, done, I've got dozens of being interviewed experiences, and I've also have uh, over a hundred experiences of interviewing others. So, add it anyway. A lot of experiences, and I've noticed what works well as an interviewee, and what works well as an interviewer. So, this is the course that gives you my hard-won knowledge on how to be a great interviewee, a guest for an interview, how to be how to be one of the best that they've ever had and also how to be a great host if you're interviewing other people. Both are taught in this course. So that's that. Um, next up, you may want to uh, develop more your speaking skills, especially as you start interviewing and as you start maybe making videos, perhaps. Um, you'll want to, uh, you, if, if you want to really lean into your energy signature and learn how to express yourself powerfully on camera. I have made more than 2,000 videos by this point. And if you add on my course videos, that's even more. But 2,000 public videos, just you know, non-course videos, and then hundreds of other course videos, probably thousands. Anyway, I've learned a lot about speaking on camera and how to connect more resonantly with the audience. This is my course where I give you the step-by-step -step exercises to come alive in your video speaking. And I just recently taught this and students absolutely loved it and found themselves at a, at a sort of like expanded level of awareness and power in how they're showing up on camera. So you might enjoy that one. And if you get, get uh, if, as you practice speaking on camera, you'll want to reach a lot more people with your videos. And this is where YouTube mastery comes in. 
This is one of my most comprehensive courses where I take you step by step from basically how to begin your YouTube journey to becoming someone with you know tens of thousands of subscribers like I have, um, and uh, and to really thrive in reaching possibly millions of people with your authentic speaking uh, presence. So this is all, this is more technical stuff. Authentic speaking was more about mindset and exercises to become a great speaker. And then the YouTube mastery is more technical of how to use YouTube uh, to grow your video reach. Okay, speaking of growing your reach, I have also mastered or been become better at most people anyway, in using Instagram, uh, a lot of you uh, met me, uh, discovered me through Instagram. So there's this is my course where not only me, um, I I teach it with my buddy Sean Galanos, who has a 250,000 person Instagram audience. My Instagram audience is a mere 10,000. He has 25 times uh, the, the the Instagram audience that I do, and so we talk. Uh, we teach you in this course, step-by-step, step, how to grow your Instagram reach from a small creator perspective. I consider myself a small creator, even with 10,000. I, you know, I, I had a much smaller one for most of my years. Small creator versus also a big creator. What's the difference? How do you think about both um, sizes of audience and, how, and how, how does Sean recommend growing to his size as well? So uh, that's, that's a very fun course. Um, next one is my Facebook ads course. This is really, uh, much of it is really about Facebook, Instagram, paid advertising. This is actually how I grew my audience a lot on Facebook. Um, but, and I'm also using now for growing my Instagram audience. Basically, if you have a few dozen dollars, you can spend a month starting with even 30 to $50 a month. If you can spend a hundred dollars a month, that's even better, but you can reach thousands of people did you know that even $10 spent on Facebook or Instagram ads can reach a thousand targeted people? Yes, that's how the numbers work at this time. It, due to inflation, it may, it may grow a bit over time. But again, if you have $100 to spend a month, this course will help you to spend that very, very wisely to grow your reach towards targeted uh, audiences. And speaking of ads, I've got another one, LinkedIn. In this course, I teach you how to use LinkedIn step-by-step, step, um, optimize your profile, create a company page, even if you're a company of one like me, okay? I have a company page. Company page is required if you want to run LinkedIn ads. So I'll teach you how to optimize your personal profile on LinkedIn, how to use LinkedIn thoughtfully, but also how to create a company page and run ads on LinkedIn to reach even more people beyond just your professional network. So that's the LinkedIn course. Um, I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, I have another course called Authentic SEO. A lot of you are curious, George, I would love to get more Google search traffic. How do you, how do, you do that? Well, this is uh, my years of uh, thinking about online traffic and working with SEO uh, boiled down for you in this course in a more authentic authentic way, meaning in a way that's more heartfelt because SEO can be, can feel kind of robotic and technical. And I try to bring more heart into the SEO process. So if you enjoy that idea, well, this course, uh, I think you'll enjoy. Okay. One more, <laughs> one more to share with you. At this point, you're learning how to scale your reach and you may want to um, develop your skills of persuasion. Now, persuasion is a word, it's a bad word for a lot of us because we don't want to, man of course, we don't want to manipulate anybody. We don't want to feel like we are um, being secretive or uh, influencing them in ways that are not of their consent, right? That they, they don't consent. However, however, let's not so-called throw out the baby with the bathwater. Um, let's see if there are ideas from the persuasion world that we can bring in and authentically integrate into how we communicate so that we are actually helping people instead of secretly influencing them or something like that. So Effortless Yes is that very thorny course that I taught where I do bring in the, the best of the persuasion skills, but how can we adjust that so that it is uh, much more authentic and able to be integrated within our communications and still be a heart based, heart-centered, heart-soul-driven um, uh, person of integrity.
So anyway, <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I, I'll stop the screen share for now. And, um, and just last thing I'll say is if you want a custom recommendation for George, my gosh, so many courses, which one should I take for my particular situation? I welcome you to contact me. Go to my website, go to the contact tab and uh, send me a message telling me your situation and so that I can give you my the, the right course recommendation for you, for your stage, for your context. Uh, and every course that you, that you take that, that I just showed you comes with two Q&A call group access to, I do a monthly Q&A call for recent students, for people who've taken my courses recently get access to a monthly Q&A call in two different time zones. So it's once a month, but one call is in a time zone that works for Americas and Europe, Americas morning and Europe afternoon. And another call I host that month will, will, will serve Americas evening and Australia, Asia during the daytime. So I do two calls a month, but probably one of them you can attend given your time zone. So you get access to two of those months uh, of, of calls with me, plus a bunch of Q and A segments that I've recorded that you can get to access as well as a bonus. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to understand, um, the breadth of the support that I can give you through my courses. Um, let me know below if there is another topic you would love for me to create a course about. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for joining me on this journey of authentic business, soul, entrepreneurship. And I look forward to seeing if you have any questions or comments below. Thanks so much.